I am going to start this glue working update the right way with uh, only one chug. Or, I should say, shotgun. So, cheers and welcome to another episode of Glue Working Update. So, always wanted to try that. So, thank you for indulging. Like I said in the intro, welcome to another episode of Beer with an Update. Uh, by the way, the beer I did shotgun was Shoddy B from False Idol. Also wearing a hat. So, shout out to False Idol for making great beer. <laughs> Before we get started, moving forward with the Beer with an Update, featured beers of the week is from Turning Point. We got Texas Size 10.4 and Where's My Car? two uh feature beers of the week i will i don't know which one i'm gonna chug yet um i'm probably gonna chug where's my car at the end and then glass the glassware of the week is gonna be from 70 percent drip my boy sean dorset blessed me with some amazing glass so shout out to my boy um also by the way if you haven't seen it yet the new glassware for Black is Beautiful is out there, so check out 72% Drip on uh, Instagram. What it looks like right there. Shout out to them. I will be purchasing, uh, purchasing that. And as you guys know, I love wearing my 70% Drip shirt because it makes big guys look good. So I need to order more, by the way. Oh, it smells good. Oh, shit. Look at that beautiful pour. So, Texas 10-4 is a quadruple, quadruple IPA, if I can speak English. Uh, from Turning Point, of course, it's 12.4%. Oh, that's a big boy. Oh, shit. God damn. That is fucking good. Actually, surprisingly, for my first yeah, my first weekend back on Beer on the Run episode, I went to Tony Point. It was me, Dom, and uh, Amy. We went out there, had a few drinks. I typically try to do five locations for Beer on the Run. Bit rusty, only made it to three. Uh, but this weekend, I'll do better. Uh, by the way, Beer on the Run episode is back. So that episode will be dropping tomorrow uh, around noon. And uh, there's a few announcements, a few uh, breweries, a bit rusty uh, doing it. Uh, so, but it felt good to be back out there, played some handball in the morning, then jumped, out, uh, jumped around, drank some beers. Uh, so like I normally do for starting off Beer Weekend Update, I like to always announce uh, some entertainment. So you guys can listen to mostly beer po uh, other beer podcasts you guys should listen to. But I'm going to throw in a movie as well. Uh, first and foremost, Modern Brews and Beats. They're the homies. Always gonna support and love them. Uh, I honestly believe one of the best beer podcasts. Mostly, again, they uh, they say it themselves. They do mostly music featuring beers. But I call them a beer podcast anyway because that's how I know both those brothers. They're both great, amazing podcasters. New episode out, episode 39. <clears throat> Excuse me, had a burp there. Uh, episode 39, Society and Charity. Uh, great episode, heard it while I was at work today. Uh, FYI, if my boss is watching, I did my work. <laughs> but um, heard it while I was at work today. Great episode. Like I said, I feel like next up is let's do a podcast. We're going to talk about uh, Ryan Snoop, the latest episode. It is another interesting one, similar to the platform from Netflix. This is an older movie. An older movie. I'll put this on the same vein. Um, not as gory as the Toxic Avenger. If you guys know what I'm talking about, Toxic Avenger. That's a very interesting movie. And I put this in the same vein as 80s B-rated movies. Again, another one I'm surprised they did, but it's enjoyable. I had a great time listening to it. So shout out to Anthony and Ryan. Uh, and let's do a podcast. So thank you for picking a very, another very interesting one. I, I love you guys' take on it. So again, shout out to you guys. You guys are awesome. And also thanks for picking out crazy movies uh, that now not everybody's talking about. So things up to you guys. 
If I can make a recommendation, if you guys are watching, Toxic Avenger. Let me know what you guys think. And last but not least, Beer Podcast, Strikeout Beer. They're doing amazing, great things. Episode every week. Uh, I haven't listened to the latest one, even though I did share it. I need to catch up on it, uh, but I haven't heard it yet. Love those guys. They do great work every week consistently. Again, unlike me, they're very consistent, high quality podcasts. Very great stuff. Awesome guys. Awesome, also awesome. Anyway, movie recommendation. Uh, it's gonna be the Judge. I talked about it over the weekend. It's uh, a movie. I don't think a lot of people talk about it lately anymore. Uh, great uh, supporting cast. It's one of the few movies I get chills thinking about uh, the ending of the movie. Some of the uh, some of the scenes towards the end of the movie. It's such a great movie. I highly recommend. If you have the time, you have HBO, you can watch The Judge. Things on HBO. Don't quote me that. Just look it up. I know you can watch it on one of those streaming services. Uh, the Judge with Robbie Dow Jr. Solid movie. Drama. Definitely going to make you cry if you are open to it. Uh, it, just, it definitely hits you in the feels towards the end. Um, but great movie. Thought you guys might want to uh, also uh, a movie selection on that. As far as the beer waking up, the main part of it is the highlight events going on in the beer, uh, beer community uh, that you might not hear or know about since a lot of them just pop up randomly. But again, through this quarantine uh, reopening, might reclose kind of thing, there's not too many events like solid uh, penciled in. So my first recommendation for anybody listening to this or even watching this, number one, support your local brewery, buy beers if you can, uh, buy gift cards available or buy merch available from your uh, breweries. Uh, but definitely buy some beers. Any brewery you, you enjoy, just support them uh, by any means necessary. Uh, with all that being said, first and foremost, there is an event. Friday, there's a fish, fish fry at OHB. I wouldn't, maybe an event, you guys might call it, but just a different food item, food menu for OHB. Oak Island's Brewing. Uh, fried fish, or Friday fish fry. So stupid. Friday fish fry, uh, fish and chips, 12 bucks. Kids, uh, chicken nuggets and chips, five bucks. A uh, bunch of great beers popping out at OHB, so show them some love. <laughs> Next up, Brew Nation dropped another beer. Uh, it is gonna be the Watermelon Berlin Weizen. They dropped on, when did it drop? It dropped on Tuesday, right? Yes, it dropped Tuesday. Uh, haven't had a chance to try it. Might be one of the featured play on beers on Be On The Run on Saturday. Don't know. Give you guys a surprise. But the picture does look fire, by the way, for that Berlin Weizen. And I like the little touch of the Walmart. I'm a sucker for anything with fruits in it, so I liked it a lot. Um, again, uh, event that I was surprised to see going, uh, Shannon Brewery. Uh, they're having a Father's Day event, which sounds very, very interesting. It's a learn how to brew kind of event. Hold on, let me look up the descriptions of it. Okay, celebrating Father's Day this week while learning the brew the brewing ropes. So they have two days: Friday at 8 a.m. Um, and Saturday at 8 a.m. If you're ever interested in learning how to brew. Get your tickets now. Do it at Shannon Brewery. Oh, interesting. It's, um, so again, I'm new to the beer scene, but uh, Shannon Brewery had a Dad Fest celebration they did every year. Uh, and of course, due to uh, quarantine, we they can't have the fest, but they can have the fest. <laughs> uh, but it's learning, to, learning how to brew if you've ever been interested. That's very interesting. I didn't know they had a, 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 father, a Dad Fest. That is, that's, I like the name too, Dad Fest. Shout out to Dad, man. Shout out to Dad Fest. Uh, Last but not least, uh, Sunday morning, uh, tap tasting at Odd Muse, June 21st, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Uh, love it. I love Bobby and everybody at Odd Muse. Again, podcast potentially coming soon. I am working on a few different equipment things. So once I get that solidified, I will be reaching out to uh, my first five group, uh, places I would like to do a podcast and get that shit going real soon. Um, but yeah. 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Now again, this is this part of it is quick. Just something I saw real quick. Uh, again, I can't stress them, uh, enough that first and foremost, regardless of anything events going around, if you're thirsty and you want a beer, buy it from your local breweries or growler field stations. 
uh, buy from them first and foremost before going to any specs and things like that. No disrespect to specs, no disrespect to anybody else, but uh, support local, uh, support our peoples, and uh, any other deals you guys see for Father's Day, please comment below. Uh, and last but not least, guys, happy Father's Day. You know, uh, I am not a father, but I have a father. So I'm gonna go send Sunday with him for Father's Day, and then, uh, you know, chill, relax like I normally do. Uh, hope you guys found this information useful by any means. You know, uh, I, I always do this to myself. I end up having a beer not finished before I do my chug. Um, but, um, and other great news for uh, Don's Beer Talk, our website had a uh, overhaul. Our things are working, it's up and about. You can see here to the right of me or to the left of you on the screen. Uh, uh, our shirts are up, you can buy merch, um, connect to our Facebook, Instagram. So if you go to our website, you can always see any pictures or any videos I share on our Facebook and anything I post on our Instagram is on there. Towards the end uh, of this uh, scroll through, I will be doing uh, a small version of like a, just a type up of certain events, certain locations, maybe something I'm interested in or want to talk about towards the end about events and breweries and people at the end. I don't know what I'm really going to do with that just yet, but it's on there. I'm going to make it happen. We're going to do something with that. Uh, I love everybody in the beer community. Look out for that, the first return of Beer on the Run. And I'll keep you guys posted when... Uh, when the next podcast is going to drop. Of course I will, guys. And then, uh, also just want to give a shout out to my boy, Sean, for this amazing glass. This is awesome, man. I really, really, I really love the glassware. Uh, I, <laughs> I gave away a bunch of my glassware to cigars. Another place, if you enjoy uh, cigars, and you're a father who loves cigars, go check out cigars. Great, solid, uh, solid cigar selection. Uh, reservations, you can, if you can still snag them, definitely do. Love that place. But um, gave most of my glass away to cigar odds just so I could make room for dope glass like this. And this is definitely a dope glass. And the gold brim on the glass, nice touch, man. Nice touch. So um, this is not my favorite glass to chug out of. It makes me look bad. Uh, I'm not a great chugger to begin with, but then this makes me look really bad because it's uh, the brim leaves a lot of room for spillover, and um, yeah, I suck. So let's get ready, let's knock this chug out, and guys, have a safe weekend. Don't drink and drive. Take a lift. Peace.